Hi, hello friends. Welcome everyone to Nifty Banker 2.0, India's first retail index traders online conference. I am Ashok Devanampriya, the CEO of Traders Gurukul and also the host for today's program. It's a great pleasure to invite every one of you into the conference today. And being a Sunday, you guys have taken your special time in order to pursuit in pursuit of your knowledge. I am sure at the end of this program, you will have gained a lot of knowledge on the <clears throat> Blue Mountain strategy to make better decisions in your trading life. Let me thank our media partner Money Control Pro, the largest financial portal in India with millions of daily readership on their website who helped us to reach a wider audience in a short period of time. We'll also appreciate our title sponsor Espresso, the Sher Khan company, one of the leading discount brokers in India. The speaker for today is my good friend Vivek Gadodia from Mumbai. Vivek is the co-founder of Dravyaniti Consulting. He has been one of the well-known algo strategy developer, algo trader in, in the smallest possible community of traders. He has his education in the commerce background and then he did his master's in management studies, applied finance. He set he has set up an institutional algo desk in his previous company, MF Global, which is also called as Philip Capital today. A very seasoned veteran. It's a great pleasure to have him on board as a speaker today. Vivek, on behalf of all the participants of Nifty Banker 2.0, I extend my warm welcome to you into this program as an elite speaker. Go ahead, sir. The stage is yours. Thank you so much, Ashok, for the kind words and uh, um, uh, warm uh, kind of welcome and hi to all the listeners. Like Ashok said, it's a Sunday and the fact that you are here at 8 p.m. means a lot to, uh, in terms of I think the commitment that you are trying to, you're putting in actually, not trying but you are exhibiting on this and we assure you that you know we'll do our best to ensure that there is value you take from this so um thanks again for having me ashok it's really kind of you to uh, keep inviting me and i think we met when we met in bangalore we spoke about among all things obviously like how we keep talking about systems all the time uh, so uh, you know it's it's fantastic to see how this conference has been growing year after year and how you know you're seeing so many people joining in the bandwagon so it's really heartening and thank you once again very much for having me here so let's pleasure, uh, move on friends so uh, what we're going to do is uh, today also uh, talk about um, you know something which many of you or i think quite a few of you may have obviously heard about is algo or system trading and we are going to try to understand that for some of you already may know it may be a little bit of recap some things maybe you get some perspectives from a dimension where i look at it for some of you it may be new and we are going to talk about a strategy for trading in the index right so about that so uh, without uh, spending much more time let's uh, delve into the system So friends, the title sponsor of our program is Espresso, the Sherkan company. So it's a great pleasure to have them on board. More details in the end of the session. Thank you very much. Fantastic. It's so great to see this lovely yellow and really <laughs> bright, uh, nice light from this. I place. also like very this fresh. light. Everywhere yellow. Absolutely. Right. Um, so uh, as Ashok has already given your brief, uh, I'm not going to go much into this again. Uh, only thing to add is at Raveniti, we run basically a portfolio of strategies also. Uh, very similar to what uh, Ashok is running. We keep learning from each other and it's a constant journey. Uh, one of the things obviously I do like a lot uh, is to travel and trek whenever I can. So first things first, before we start, Okay, 
systematic trading involves what do we basically do check past data to draw some idea or a model of years where many of us get misleaded it's not about what is going to happen in the future but what may happen we are just trying to get up an idea about if we try to do this and we have done this in the past what is likely to happen so that is one there are obviously no assured returns in kinds of systems or algorithms we show i don't think any one of us is expressing that kind of thing uh, if if i think somebody expresses that you may want to be careful do your due diligence that's all uh, i would like to say in my 10 11 years of working with systems and systematic traders and number of them and hundreds of traders uh, like ashok uh, experienced and lucky to get to interact i i think i've seen many systems uh, will go through phases where they'll work for a while. They may not work for a while, except you are doing some high frequent, too many systems like a casino with lots of large capital, hundreds of crores, where you're running all types and managing risk very well, which is very very professional game. They kind of may possibly be positive over the month or weeks and things, but in the low to mid kind of frequency or things that we do, which we show, which is, and I'll talk a little more about low to mid these are basically we are trying to maximize our chance of making money and there is no sort of like a short return kind of thing or something so what one may want to do is allocate probably up to 20 percent of the liquid net worth that one has to systematic trading again this number could differ if you're kind of like got a already high net worth ultra you could probably look at this number to be 10 15 percent if you're probably still early and looking to build capital maybe you may want to risk a little more but basically the lesser the portion of your total liquid net worth is to strategy like this the more tolerant we are towards taking risk and sticking to the systems when you're on just what ashok and we were talking about in the start very similar to that so these are some things now once this is set i hope the background is clear the context is clear it, and I'm going to get into now the model and the strategy. So the way we are going to do this is, I will talk about the strategy uh, broadly, like in terms of a uh, few things to take care about the strategy, exact rules about it and all, we will get into it in the other half of my talk, where I'll take you through trading view in PineScript language. The system uh, is uh, built there, we'll run it there, and we'll analyze the results and the various metrics and performance of the strategy followed by uh, after that uh, you there be QA and you can like reach out on the QA. Right. okay i missed this key extremely key i don't know how i missed it so finally it kind of boils down according to us to risk management and especially wherever derivatives is involved it's even more important to look at risk right whatever we do whatever system we run primarily we want to look at how we manage risk okay so let's talk about momentum trading right what are we doing so what is momentum I'm going to some of you if basically like you throw a ball okay ball will fall on ground bounce back up again fall bounce back up little and slow but it will keep it will bounce right so once that object has taken some sort of speed and direction it may tend to continue in that right so similarly in stock market prices may continue to trend so what is our aim as traders we are aiming to ride this trend both bullish and bearish it doesn't matter what direction the money is being made or the market is going for a systematic trader he or she is absolutely undisturbed unruffled unattached and no commitment to direction the his or her commitment may want to be only with one aim that is to 
effect basically make money so we want to ride the trend both bullish as well as bearish there are opportunities which both markets provide in fact i think the only i mean biggest advantage of systematic trading if we talk about it is to being able to earn money even on the bearish side right or even using combinations of options we may tend to earn even in a sideways market whereas the equity gives us only one directional play obviously it's a it's a long it's a powerful direction i mean it's a long direction which is what probably most of the time the market is doing over a period it is either sideways to bullish with mildly bullish or strongly bullish but there are periods when market falls and even crashes like some of you have seen crash of 2008 nifty fell 50 55% uh in crash of 2020 the covid crash uh nifty fell about uh, 38% bank nifty fell 50% and history of data across markets has shown that there are trends especially victor sperandio one trader if you have heard of him or you google him trader vic as he is called he has talked a lot about primary trend secondary trend and intermediate trend like intermediate trend and the current trend right so basically there are trends happening at monthly weekly daily hourly different different levels and technically if you ask there is nothing called the trend because it's all in different different frames so then you will say why why written the trend because i am basically referring to like whatever time frame i show the system whatever type of uh, trend is there on that that is the trend for me right so if i am showing a hourly system now then when i say the trend i am talking in respect of hour one hour so what are we going to do this riding we are going to do in indices nifty and bank nifty right? these are the two indices that we are going to run this on and to get our technical signals we are going to basically to get our signals we will be using technical indicators so only input in my system only and only is price pure price and we are going to use no fundamentals in this okay and purely take signals on on the price of the candle what we're going to be doing is using a very interesting concept of swing detection swing highs and lows which some of you may have heard and seen and i'll talk little about swing in the next slide but we will be learning a method where we can detect a swing up swing or down swing where the method has been entirely the kind of the whole method is proprietary which i'll be sharing i don't know if anyone else see it's possible that someone else may have thought of the same thing but as far as i mean from my perspective it's something that i've built obviously and whatever reference i have taken of some other studies of some other trader i will quote that and uh, that also goes out to say that traders are always learning from each other so many traders say um you know uh, why should i kind of uh, use something straight away from somebody or is it okay or is it not okay should i share the point really is that when you build a system and you trade it it's like your own baby okay so end of the day you will never have your father or a parent you'll understand or if you are a child you go and ask your parent you you can only understand or trust or live with beyond your baby right like kind of you if it's somebody else's baby you would basically abandon more or less right so till your system doesn't sort of become your baby it's very difficult to stick to it when it goes into a drawdown or a losing phase right so whatever i'm sharing you may see it use it learn from it tweak it adapt it make it your own right or use this learning from this to build possibly it may help you in building your own system or your own method right these both aims we hope we can fulfill so the book that 
I have referred to pick up this concept of swing is basically from Mark Riverland's book Swing Trading. Uh, Mark Riverland is a UK based uh, trader, author, and I think his book on swing trading is probably one of the most popular books on swing trading. Right? So, what is swing? Okay, so think about it. Swing is neither too short term, right? Like it's not like intraday. Nor is it too long term. It's not like monthly, yearly, and something as well. So what is it? The answer is clear, right? Somewhere. For this system perspective, ideally, we are kind of looking at two, three day trends at least, like little above more than intraday. Some traders define swing also has two to three weeks kind of thing. Okay, but with the current markets, I think the way movements of markets have become more volatile or more fast at times due to more use of systematic trading and automated trading and high frequency trading and computerized robots. Probably we can get, I think, I, I think it's a sweet spot to get like capture two, three day kind of trend. Yes. Some trades in the system may run a little longer, but mostly the sweet spot is to do like a shortish term kind of swing trading, right? Not the weekly to weekly kind of thing also, which some people define. So the definition is not very strict, but like from my perspective, so for our perspective for this presentation, we are going to stick to like sort of a two, three day kind of trend, which we are like trying to capture. Now, what is the challenge of swing trading, right? So Typically, I faced this when I started in Let me tell you a story. I started trading a system in 2012 with help of uh, sort of one uh, chartered market technician trader. Uh, he also had an idea about which he wanted to test, but he didn't have computing background and expertise. I had computing background and expertise, but I didn't know much about systems or uh, technicals at that point. So I still am learning, but that time I was very raw. So we started together and we made one system on three minute candle. Okay, using some moving average and donkey and channel. Donkey and channel is the highest, high, lowest low channel. And we did it intraday. Okay, so I used to close the trade at intraday. Now, what I realized after a while is that the transaction costs and slippages that I was incurring, there were days when I would make money, we would make money, yes, but like the many days when it's the broker only who's getting rich, the government is getting rich, and like we were not making any money so i changed the system bit to make it positional right and that's where i kind of obviously got found my mojo i would say in a way because i was kind of doing short-term positional trading in my manual discretionary trading but i was trying to convert and build a system which was intraday largely because uh, probably i was a bit uh, fascinated with some intraday system traders and I thought I will replicate them, try and try to make a lot of money like they were making. So it was a good idea, but also a bad idea because I was I couldn't be that person, right? So I had to finally find what suits me and what I am sort of. And I think that was a good transition, right? So I'm saying it's a constant journey, right? Like we keep building systems, we keep innovating. Like Ashok was saying in the start, you know, there are there's so much work that you know they are doing and we are we keep talking about how can you know uh, how should we approach this and we are constantly trying to learn tweak make new strategies innovate it. so it's a it's a journey but at some point i think you may want to find some style that really suits you and reflects you so in my opinion if after we adjust for slippage and transaction cost if you can make money then this is perhaps the best style of trading in my opinion right because it's neither too short nor too long, right? And you kind of get a decent return when the market trends, right? But but like when you're losing, when you're losing, you don't lose that much. We lose less. So it's it, it's it's like what ideally a business I would want in a business, right? When I lose, I don't lose much. But kind of when I'm making, I want to make fair and uh, sometimes even more for the risk that I take, right? So. I, I mean, it's 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 uh, totally totally. Uh, I think one of the best styles, in my opinion, is trading. Right? 
and I kind of find it very nice. And many swing traders will tell you that those who trade profitably, there are many professionals, they would vouch again, like everyone tries to vouch and stick with their style. I think for me, this is totally superb. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, basically a lot of the uh, other part of the session is actually practical. So thought to not use too many slides and things. I think that was an overview. We'll get into a system and we'll actually build it in trading view and then analyze that. Right. So is that okay, Ashok? Can we I can move to trading view? Yes, sir, please. Okay, sir. Thanks. So let's just skip that. Right. So can you see my trading view screen? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Uh, uh, fantastic. So this is uh, trading view. And a uh, couple of good things about it. It's first of all, it runs in the browser I and mean, a lot of good trading systems now run in browser. But trading is extremely lightweight. I find it very lightweight. A uh, lot of it is open source. So there are like a lot of a uh, lot of uh, free charting free tools. And there are some pro features. So if you want to then go pro little pro you pay a nominal sum i think it's fairly totally i think worth it for the value that it gives and then you kind of can harness the power of it so this is the nifty chart let me just put it on to nifty future so in futures i just will choose the nifty futures and this is the hourly chart in the bottom of the panel, like you see these few multiple tabs like screener, notes, editor, tester, panel. We'll be going focusing on the editor and the tester. And uh, let's actually do that. So what we're going to do is I will, I will, yeah, for that, let me just quickly talk about Pine Editor. So Pine Editor is nothing but the scripting language of TradingView. Scripting language is nothing but like writing a program or a script. Like just think of some author or writer who's writing a story or a book or you know some uh, shooting of a movie, some author, right? A script writer they are called, right? So this program that we write is also like a script of a strategy, right? It's the it's like a script similar to that. And different language of different scripts. So uh, Java will have a thing called JavaScript. Amy Broker is another system which has its own language called AFL Amy Broker formula language. Similarly, Pine script is the language for trading. Right? It's a language for trading. So we're going to open some the script. Okay, so I have this. The beauty about it is because it is web based uh wherever i go you know this is available like today i had to uh, be at a different place than where i usually am in fact like my computer machine it doesn't matter this is all on the web like wherever i am the same script the same code is available because because of uh, you know it being web based and the cloud totally so we'll open this code and let's delve into it so I'll just zoom this for more clarity. Okay, I hope the font is reasonably visible and clear. And you can see not really, sir. So you need to make it slightly bigger. Okay, sir. Just let's do that. Uh, I'm not so sure about how we do this in the Mac, but uh... okay. I believe it. We may have to. I'll just kind of read out every line as I do it. No problem. That's fine. Yes, go okay. ahead. Okay. So um, what we do is basically this is like uh, version five and uh yeah 
so we are creating a new strategy called uh, nifty banker so where say the initial capital is uh, 10 lakhs that we are giving and uh, we are going to be then uh, getting into the rules right and uh, before i do that in the code 